And then yeah. reports are that Barack Obama is doing things behind the scenes. I think the question becomes, though, even with all of that, Rich, is it enough? Because it is Joe Biden's call. The reports are he gets sort of his hackles up. He gets upset yeah. if you push him. So can he withstand all this pressure? I mean, if he wants to, in theory, yes, right? I mean, there's no lever. You can just say no. But this is a game, a big game of chicken, and it has been since the debate, Will, with Biden uh, saying, you know, I'm just going to plow ahead, and if you want to kneecap me in public, you're just making your inevitable nominee weaker against Donald Trump, this guy you, you hate and fear. So you better just get on board because I'm plowing ahead. And then with the Democratic Party saying, you know what, even if you say you're still running, we're going to make it a worthless nomination for you because we're going to publicly condemn you. The fundraising is going to dry up. Uh, the activists are going away. So you can say you're still running, Joe, but but it, it'd be worthless to you. And I do think the Democratic Party seems to be winning that game of chicken at the moment. This nomination is a wasting asset for him every single day. It gets just a little bit less valuable with every public condemn condemnation in the reports that the fundraising is drying up. So really quickly, I got to go, Rich, more likely prediction. Kamala Harris is the nominee for Democrats or Joe Biden limps across with a defunded, unsupported presidential campaign? As of this moment, I would bet on Kamala Harris. All right. Rich Lowry, National Review. Great to see you, Rich. Thank you so much. Thanks, Will. All right. Talk soon. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.